didn't comply. However, if the cops had not been so abusive, she might have been more willing to comply. The whole scenario could have been avoided if after the breathalyzer test and she was negative, the cops should have moved on with maybe a fine for having the alcohol. So, yes, she deserved some compensation. Nima Romani, some compensation or $325,000? Vinny, I love it. You're talking to a former prosecutor turned plaintiff's attorney. <laughs> Law enforcement conduct in this case was absolutely uncalled for. Striking this young woman multiple times in the head, the chokehold, pulling her hair. I think this is a just result for this young woman. It's certainly a six-figure case in any jurisdiction. And New Jersey local officials would have been embarrassed if this case went to trial, because guess what? This is a 1983 federal type case and the plaintiff's attorneys would get their attorney's fees on top of any judgment. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't Snooky, by the way. She's actually from Philly. All right. <laughs> Next comment coming to us from Mary, who writes, she looks like the aggressive one. No way. Jail time, maybe. We probably need more video, but no one should be allowed to approach law enforcement the way she did. Win a lawsuit? What a joke. Eklund. You're from Jersey, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> and what do you do when you're on the beach? Um, well, I, I don't do those things, but it, it's mm -hmm. they had a whole show called Jersey Shore in which kids get drunk and do special things. The fact that he had no patience and was just it, it, it was so egregious that was, none of that was necessary. They get wild. Kids get wild. If he just he just aggravated the situation. I felt that the settlement was fair. Um, I felt that he shouldn't have a job. Uh, I mean, they know this. This is what happens. It's Jersey. This is what happens in Jersey. And for you to have that type of reaction was uncalled for. Richie, tonight, I see a cop losing his patience and going hands-on when completely unnecessary. He should be more professional and could use more training if he is so easily defeated. He needs to learn to use words and his brain rather than relying on punching and manhandling women, especially when she has done nothing to warn it. Sad. Uh, Vic, did you see $325,000 worth of damage there? No, I thought there was a zero missing. I saw $3.25 million <laughs> of damage, and let me, let me tell you why. You know, my family and I and my colleagues are big law enforcement supporters, and that's the reason why this is so offensive. You have these beach cops that are on a power trip, and that's just the bottom line. We can dress it up with lawyerly talk, but this is a young lady, a petite lady, who was not approaching the officer the way we just saw. The officer's body-worn camera depicted him approaching her and her putting her hands up in a defensive manner. You know, he's manhandling her. He's pulling her hair. He's choking her. There's just no reason for that. They got off easy on this. That is the police department. That, that should have been a seven-figure case, in my humble opinion, not just a six-figure slap on the wrist. Jillian, I back the blue, but this very poor judgment and use of force, she was not a threat to anything except the officer's pride, and that is just unnecessary force for someone who could have just gotten a ticket and a court date. Nima, you think that's why things escalate? I think it was just pride? I don't think it was pride, right? I mean, she wasn't providing her last name. I'm not trying to justify what the officers did, right? So she wasn't providing her name, identification. So that's grounds for the officers, legally at least, to arrest her, right? Do they have to do so? No. Um, and they shouldn't have certainly used the force that they did. But obviously, typically, in the vast majority of cases like this, someone just issued a citation and notice to appear, and that's it.